this might be one of the last videos I'll ever do on the Rian Rider. It's a dead horse at this point. I mean, he's out of his prime. Nobody's really still following him. I find it a very boring subject to begin with at this point. The last time I've actually watched a Durian Rider video has been months, months back. And yeah, I mean, the damage has been done. Uh, Norvegan has done what he promised to do. And um, it's just what it is. But I do want to talk about the fact that this diet does seem to work for some people. The high carb, low fat, vegan diet, raw till 4 diet does seem to work for some people. So what's up with that? I think that, that that is definitely something that I have to address before completely, you know, closing this subject as a whole. Durian Ryder himself is in pretty good shape. I mean, considering his age, he has great fitness. For a cyclist, he has decent muscle tone. He manages to stay lean all year round. So, what's up with that? Well, we do know that he has taken steroids at some point, but that is not related, probably. I mean, might have been related for the last few years, but before that, he was steroid-free. He, um, and he did fine. He did fine. So, my question is, though, now, before I actually want to mention that, um, was he really healthy, though? Was he? I mean, he has aged a lot in the last few years. You can see that in his face. And mentally speaking, I don't think that the guy has ever come off as uh, stable. So, yeah. And of course, I don't mean you can... You, you can be... Um, you could, of course be like him and be extremely nitpicky about really dumb things like his nose is a little bit too red or some shit like that and um crow feeds at the sides of his eyes and, you know i mean he did he pulls that shit all the time but let's not talk about things like that whoa so why does this diet work for some people or work works better for some people so first of all we will take durian riders example of the vegan for which this diet does work. So Durian Ryder is an athlete. Now, being active with your body is extremely important for overall health. And it will make you feel better. And um, hell, I mean, there are people on a ketogenic diet, on a meat dominant diet. And they are, and some of them are still great athletes. So, obviously... Diet is not to be related necessarily to great performance. Of course, it's a, an important factor. For some people, it is a really important factor. But <laughs> above anything else, being active does significant wonders for how you feel. Now, another thing is that Durian Rider does live in a climate... Or he, I believe he even moves around. He always moves around to where the sun is. So he gets sunlight all year round. Most of the people that follow his diet advice, they are not in the same situation. They will, you know, they, they, they don't get enough vitamin D3, among other things that are, that you should essentially get from the sun. So that's another thing. And, and that is, absolutely uh, very important for health i know that when i i know that i'm significantly less healthy in the winters than i am during summer i during summer i feel happier healthier more energetic not to say that i'm worth shit in the winter but you know there, there's definitely a difference and i think that this, that this pretty much goes for all people Durian Rider led f uh, a pretty stress-free life for most of his life. I mean, he didn't have a job. He didn't really have a full-time job. He, uh, he, he had a lot of free time. He could do whatever the fuck he wanted to do. He could do the things that he enjoyed. So that in and it of itself is also going to be great for your health. Now, 
I think that stress is probably building up with him now for the last few years. That might have something to do with why he's aging so quickly, but you know, could just be one factor. Um, right, another thing is, someone mentioned this to me, by the way. Another thing is, and this might sound a little bit weird, but he could actually be healthier than most of the true fruitarians because he eats junk food. And that sounds weird, doesn't it? But let me explain. He eats junk food because according to him, you know, he has been on the diet for so long that it's okay. It's okay if he eats crap. And in all that crap, there's a lot of refined sugar, but there is also a lot of fat in that shit. And you're not going to get fat if you eat 90% fruit. But if you're going to eat 30% crap, deep fried crap or whatever type of crap that contains fat, then at least you're going to get enough fat to function well or at least function more optimally. Now, of course, you know, <laughs> um, junk food isn't good for you. You should get fat from good sources, but it's absolutely better than not getting any fat at all. Which is what most people will do if they, you know, they, they follow a very clean, purist, vegan diet. So, an extreme athlete gets sun all year round and he actually does get fat. More fat than, than a real fruitarian. Those things together can have a significant impact on how good your health actually is. Oh, and a very stress-free life. I forgot to mention that. And while that might actually be the most important one. All those things have a very significant impact. Actually, those things together might be enough to nullify a really, really shitty diet. So, that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching.